now we are going to see regroup and subtract okay let's start the class first one is uh, what 100 tens and ones 5 1 6 3 9 8 so 5 1 6 means 516 and 3 9 8 398 we are going to subtract so we have to start with ones so ones please what is the number six so six is not enough to subtract so we have to borrow from tens so what we are going to do with so uh, we have to borrow from tens okay because six, six is not enough to subtract so we have to write first regroup itself so what you're going to do that is 110 and we have to borrow from 1 because 6 is not enough to subtract because 6 is a smaller number and 8 is a greater number so you can't subtract so you have to borrow from 10's place so what is the number in 10's place 1 that is what I've written 110 and 6 ones okay 110 and 6 ones so this 6 ones it will become what means that is 0 10 because we have to borrow from 110 so here only 1 tens if I borrow 110 again so what you are going to do 1 minus 1 you can get what 0 110 so 1 minus 110 you can get 0 10 that is what 0 10 and what 16 ones 0 10 and 16 ones this is the right answer for the question so this 6 will become 16 and this one will become 0 so 16 is a greater number 8 is a smaller number now we are going to subtract so after 8 you have to start 9 10 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so answer is 8 so 8 I have written so what is the number 0 now you have to subtract from 0 to 9 0 is not enough to subtract so you have to borrow from what 100 so first I have done this once once okay now I am going to subtract tens so this is what each and everything each every digit you have to do individually so that is what regrouping method so subtract tens so again you have to write 16 minus 8 you can get 8 so this what 1 becomes 0 already I have written so I have to subtract from what hundreds how many hundreds here five hundreds you write first five hundreds and how many tens zero tens okay so I'm going to what subtract from hundreds so now it becomes one hundred I have to subtract from one after from five I have to subtract one so because I'm borrowing from from this hundred place I'm borrowing from one one that means one hundred so five minus one hundred you can get what four hundreds and also the five become four and four hundreds and what ten tens what is this ten tens so this zero become ten okay four hundred and ten tens you know that I've already told you one ten is equal to one ten is equal to ten ones ten ones ten ones and that is 100 hundreds is equal to 10 tens that is what that is what we are applying so 10 minus 9 so you are going to concentrate only in tens place right now so 10 minus 9 now 10 now this 0 become 10 so you have to subtract from 10 to 9 so backward counting 9 afterwards 10 so you can get 10 minus 9 you can get 1 so this is the answer so now i'm going to do subtract hundreds so you have to write as it is once place answer then tens place answer now you are going to focusing the hundred place so already i've told you i'm borrowing how many hundreds that is year five hundreds i borrowing from this particular place from one hundred so it become five become four so what you are going to write that is four hundreds Four hundreds, that is, and three hundred. Subtract. Subtract. You can get one. That is, answer is what? Answer you can get that is one hundreds. Okay, this is the answer. So, this four minus three. After three, you can get four. That is, four minus three, you can get one. So, the answer is one one eight. This is the 
regrouping and also the answer is what the what is the heading regroup and subtract this is the exact regrouping method otherwise we can say regroup twice regrouping twice i'll repeat once again this is the exact regrouping method regrouping means what is this you have to what subtract each and every digit individually that is what i have done first i have done subtract once then i have done what subtract second step this is step 1 this is what this is step 1 subtract once and step 2 what is this step 2 that is subtract tens and this is what step 3 that is step 3 subtract hundreds so each and every digits individually we have done it so this is what regroup and subtract otherwise we are saying regrouping twice because two times we have to regroup once place also regrouping and tens place also regrouping that is what regrouping twice otherwise we can call it as regrouping regrouping what twice okay so even you can do you want to verify this answer means normal method the same thing normal method the same h t o what are the number is 5 1 6 3 9 8 This is very simple method. It is not a regrouping method. Six minus eight, six not enough to subtract. So you have to borrow from tens. So this six becomes sixteen. This one becomes zero. Sixteen minus eight. You know this backward counting. The answer is eight. After eight, you know that nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eight. So zero minus nine, zero is not enough to subtract. So you have to borrow from one hundred. So this zero becomes ten. So ten minus nine, you can get what one. So now this four hundred become the sorry this five hundred become four hundred four minus three hundred you can get one four minus three you can get one the so answer is again one ninety eight so both answers are correct even if if you do the regroup and subtract the regrouping at twice otherwise the normal method both method if you do you can get the same answer so which is your convenient you can choose any one method of this and. do the sum and practice more sums then only we can get very good marks and thorough in the concept